What have you witnessed someone do that made you realize he she is really, really smart? Found out my little brother, age 12, has a legit photographic memory. He's a big LOTR fan and knows an abnormal amount about the series. Whenever he answers questions about it he looks up and squints a bit. I asked him about it, and it turns out that he is actually reading from the book in his head. He can even jump to random page numbers. He also knows a ridiculous amount of world history. I go to him when I need help with that. Sadly, he's adopted and we don't share the same genes. Aziz, a 10-year-old orphan boy in a village in Burkina Faso built his own ukulele. I would play my ukulele at night for children, and one day he came so excited to show me the ukulele he built so that he could play with me. He built it with an aluminum can, a wooden board, and got two pieces of metal wire to have enough tension that it played a note when plucked. Granted you could only play the one note, but I was so impressed with him. Made it that much sadder knowing he would never go to school, and that I had to leave him behind. Kid I knew in high school bet his friends, who were in the class, that he could get a 5, top score, on the AP chemistry test even though he didn't take the class. He did. Someone who doesn't engage with overdramatic, argumentative people. How's the saying go? An idiot will bring you down to their level and win. Smart people just avoid it and know how and when to keep their mouth closed. I had a teacher in high school that using both hands could write a sentence starting from the beginning and end simultaneously. He even split the middle word of the sentence. He also spoke around five languages. I was playing the card game Egyptian Rats Crew with some friends, and then all of us noticed that one of our friends was slapping a bit too fast to be believed. It turns out he was counting all of our cards and had each of our decks memorized, which is just insane. It's a card game. It stems from the time when Rommel crossed Egypt in WW2. It's where the gambling houses would try to get rid of the rats by slapping them as they crossed the playing table. They formed it into a game and brought the game back to Europe, then into the States once Germany was defeated. Older brother always was terrible at school. I can remember him straight up asking why he needed to graduate high school and then again in college. He then accepted a low-level job after graduation in marketing that ultimately fell apart due to the company executives screwing up big time. During all of it he somehow was able to keep a small client and within seven months of working was promoted to their executive marketing director making six figures. Now, he has multiple clients on the side and is always scheming something up. Dude is as hard-headed as they come but nonetheless a damn marketing genius. Blows my mind how far he has come. I was once in Chinatown and I saw this old Chinese guy with a bunch of groceries. He had tied the bags together by the handle and slung them over his shoulder. He looked ridiculous. The next week I was struggling with a lot of groceries and I remembered the old Chinese guy, stopped on the sidewalk, tied all my bags together and walked home like the unencumbered dork I became that day. I knew two guys in undergraduate who would play mental chess. As they'd passed in the hall, one guy would say night to queen three or whatever. The other guy would roll back his eyes for a second and then nod to acknowledge the move. Both guys then kept walking in opposite directions. Later that day, when they passed again, the second guy would declare his counter move. A game could last days and they never forgot where any of the pieces were. Each had a mental image of the board. Sure, they might have been faking, but these guys were always first and second on the dean's honor list for all four years of my undergraduate. I knew them pretty well. I think the mental chess was legit. Anybody who can explain highly complex things very simply. It takes an intelligent person to understand it, but it takes a brilliant person to grasp it so fully they can dumb it down to explain it to anybody. David Goodstein asked him to explain the spin statistics theorem in an undergraduate lecture in the 1960s to 1970s. Sizing up his audience perfectly, Feynman said I'll prepare a freshman lecture on it. But he came back a few days later to say, I couldn't do it. I couldn't reduce it to the freshman level. 
that means we don't really understand it. This seems to have motivated his 1986 Dirac lecture on the spin statistics theorem. I was at my desk waiting to make a purchase over the phone, and I mentioned to a coworker that I always have to pull my credit card out. I should have this number memorized by now. Another coworker overheard that and said, I know your visa number, and spit it right out. After I got off the phone I asked him WTF, and he said he heard me say it a couple weeks earlier. Numbers just stick with him that way. I already knew he was a bright guy, but that took it up a notch. When you sit down in a meeting for work where you're trying to solve a big problem and someone can say, that's the wrong question. You need to be asking. People who can do that generally understand the bigger picture and all of the various variables and factors in play and how everything fits together. It's some next level action to watch the entire room go, wow, we're looking at trees and that guy's looking at the forest. Lazy people are the best at this. I witnessed a kindergartner who couldn't draw straight lines keep his pencil still and drag the paper around to draw a triangle. A kid in second grade already knew algebra. Everyone knew he was smart. For April Fool's Day that year, our teacher decided to be cute and give us a pop quiz so she went to the 8th grade class and asked for an algebra test. Made copies and handed them out to us. Some of the kids were freaking out and the teacher assured us that we already went over this. So, she left the room and some of the kids started crying. She came back in after a few minutes and said that it was just a joke, but she graded the tests anyways. The smart kid scored an 18 20ths. My stepfather used to teach me math that was several years beyond what I was learning in second grade. I'm an information sponge and he fed me brain anything that I asked for. One day my parents got a call from my teacher. The teacher told them that I was teaching my classmates 4th to 5th grade math in my spare time at school and to make me knock it off. I never saw it myself because I was about 2 years old, but when my older sister was around 4 years old she used to go grocery shopping with my mom. She, my sister, would keep a running tally for all the items in my mom's cart. As my mom took something off the shelf my sister would ask the price, and then would add it to the total in her head. If my mom put something back she would subtract it. My sister was right every time when they got to checkout. She's a doctor now. Edit. My sister also used to read the bedtime stories to my parents when she was around two years old. Goddamn genius. Meanwhile I'm the kid who ate Play-Doh. I like it when you meet someone whose English is imperfect, but you realize they are very intelligent and are able to explain their thoughts. I remember once meeting a Japanese archaeologist who wasn't the best English speaker, but when he explained his research to me it was absolutely fascinating. Gotta plug my dad in here. Had some friends over, and just to mess around we asked him the definition of random words in the dictionary. We opened it to the eyes and asked the definition of 10 to 12 letter, 3 to 4 syllable words. Not only did he nail all of them, but most definitions were verbatim. When we got to the 10th word, he goes, the verb or the noun and we lost our shit. It was seriously ridiculous. We were freshmen in high school and could hardly pronounce the words we picked. Turns out he read the whole dictionary over the summer when he was 16 and bored. Guy is still the smartest person I've ever met. My older brother has really bad ADD and always did terrible in school. I never realized how smart he was until a few years ago. We were watching Jeopardy together and he knew most of the answers to the most obscure shit. I was blown away. I swear it was like the scene from Groundhog Day. When my dad just decided to add an addition to the house. Like he'd be out there 70 to 80 hours a week adding three extra floors to the house with running water up to the third floor. He would rent excavators and large moving equipment and only like three or four times he would hire an extra hand. That was amazing.